Well, hello, Seekers, I'm back. I was out shopping, it's 70 some degrees. <laughs> Listen, I had to go get some Easter stuff to mail. I had to go get Mr. No Madness some t-shirts, like to wear out in public. You know what I'm saying? He destroys everything. Anyway, nothing for me. Nope. Wasn't even about me. Anyway. So, what's the deal with Kohl's, by the way? You go into Kohl's, right? Just looking for a deal, right? These people, I think they work on commission. They try to talk you into all these stupid credit cards. You're like, we're still doing this? It's the 21st century. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I seen Sephora was having 50% off, but I just wandered in there to see if it included my Pure Grace spray. Right? Of course not. <laughs> well, I wasted steps, did I not? Anyway, so I just asked a simple question. Is the philosophy part of this 50% till the end of March sale or is it just like things that don't sell? You know what I'm saying? I should have answered my own question. I know, Catalicious. I tell you, I just, you know, I like to send you places so you can just observe for yourself. I'm, I'm going to buy it on QVC. Yes, because a two ounce Pure Grace is $74 at Sephora, right? Um, I, I did run out of the spray, but not the body lotion, so I'm cool. But if I go on QVC, it might take 10 days to get here, right? But for $74, I get a four ounce Pure Grace, double the size, and I get the body lotion. So I'll just go on QVC when I feel like it, um, because I do like to have my Pure Grace around. I still have lotion left, but yeah, there's that. So anyway, they just, you know, I asked her one simple question and it became, are you part of our program? Are you on the beauty tier list? Listen, ma'am, I don't even have mascara on, let alone I'm wearing camouflage pants. Do I even look like I want to be on a beauty tier at Sephora? Uh-uh. I'm good. <laughs> they trying to sign you up for everything. So QVC, yes, has the philosophy for sale on Mother's Day. Da, 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 da. And they do Christmas in July too. Down to the flowy for her abaya. Yeah. Ooh. So Miriam purchased a flowy. Listen, I know the saying of black is so slimming. You could put a black tarp over a fricking barn. And it's still going to be the size of a barn. So, sorry, ladies. It's slimming on tall women or even shorter women that are not carrying an extra 200 pounds. Okay. So, sorry. It's not going to work. But we're here for it. We're going to watch. We're going to see if it works. It could make you look bigger, right? It definitely could. We're here for it. So... I scrolled all the way just to get a good uh, picture from my thumbnail and holy hell, she's outdoors, people. She's outdoors. It's yard time. <laughs> the three piece Pure Grace Mother's Day gift set is $68. Is it the, um, the super size? I want the super size. Is the super size 68? Oh my. Yeah, it's definitely not. Black is not a miracle worker, no. Neither are flowies. What, what did Jamie say? What did Jamie say? My dog just knocked over my nail polish and it broke all over my bathroom floor. Be grateful it's your bathroom floor and not the living room white carpet. You know what I'm saying? You'd be ripping that shit up. <laughs> right? Little acetone. Just do it, just do it carefully, right? So don't take the finish off your floor. A little acetone. Miriam's in the wild, people. Somebody left the barn door open. Mm hmm This is what happens. Or it's yard time. You know what? She got yard time, people. 
Sugar, people say sugar will soak it up. Interesting. What a nightmare that is though, you know what I'm saying? That's why I got the little nail polish holders from Timu. Set your nail polish in there and it's on an angle. You can keep the lid off, right? Sits right there on the table. It got the cabinets too. I don't know how to help you with that. Little sandpaper maybe. I buy all of my grace at Belk. I don't know what Belk is. After Christmas is half price. Wow. Those nail polish holders are genius. I love them. I have four. <laughs> I have four. You need one? Jamie, you need one? Do you want me to send you one? I have four of them. I don't need four. I need one or two, but not four. I just got a four pack. I don't know why. It's a department store. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a, a what it was, a belt? We don't have one of those. I'm glad to see you're getting some exercise at least. Look at you. Glass is half full. Listen, I'm just grateful she's outdoors. Let's watch this. It was close. She put her paws on the counter and knocked it off. You cats do that, yeah. Just tch. They bat everything off the counter. I ship. What's that mean? Aren't you, where is Belk? Is that in another country? Is that in the US? They ship, you ship. Everywhere ship, ship. <laughs> so if you guys are new here, we are a reaction channel. We react to all things foodie beauty mostly, but we got a new, we got a new, I don't know, maybe a new subject in the house, which is kind of exciting um, that we may, well, they ship, okay. Um, in the South, okay. We all ship, <laughs> right? Belks, okay. Arizona has one. All right. I believe you. Okay, so no hate. Do not go over and be mean to the people we react to. This is just our own show. It's our soap opera. We're kind of like, you know, the couch uh, judges of, of content. You know, we sit on the couch and then we just hang out together and have a laugh or a cry or scream, whatever. Whatever floats our boat. Whatever we are in the mood for. Uh, if you don't like it and it's not your cup of tea, then, you know, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, this is our thing. <laughs> We're the old hate community, right? And we've lived through all this shit and we just like to watch other people live through it, I suppose. Tell me if you think she actually cooked that chicken. Okay, I will. Let's do it. There's the bells, right? But I don't know what Belks is. They put a K in there, but there's bells, right? Okay, enough department store, don't care. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, who does that? Who doesn't say shit to them? Who says shit to them? Shame on you. Leave these people alone. They're putting out content for us to react to. All right, here we go. Flip the camera, lights, camera, action. Yeah, I know what Bells is. I went to it in Florida. It was fun. A little pricey, but it was fun. Okay, people, are we ready for the shit show? All right, let me try and get this perfect. There we go. Low budget productions, and I like it this way. So if you like OBS and StreamYard, Streamlabs and all that, have fun with it. I don't. I can do it this way easily and uh, I don't have to keep flipping between screens and all that dumb shit. Um, I got confused. I live in North Carolina. There's ones too. Okay. All right, here we go. Hello, Sour Cat. Um, here we go. We got our volume on? Yep. Hi, welcome back to another Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a Ramadan vlog. You might hear some fan noise in the background. I apologize, it's quite it's hot here. So here is She's cooking this at 4 a.m. for Suhar. Su Suhor. I, I have to try to pronounce it. Jazer Jazera 
tells me how, but I can't remember all the time. Anywho, uh, wouldn't that be hard to cook this at 4 a.m.? I mean, you gotta be like, hurry up, hurry up before the sun rises. Here is a Sahur recipe I made. It is a frittata. It was actually very delicious and filling and satisfying and healthy. Hello guys, Ramadan Kirby. How come we didn't get a video of you making it? I just feel like people bring her food. I'm sorry. Green, welcome to the first day of Ramadan. Fasting has officially begun. It is a po Suhor. Okay. Post Fajr here. And this is my new chill bub. And it's very comfortable. I love the material. Very oh, she's talking about her clothes. She was pointing at the wall. Flowy. Well, why are we in a close-up? Why don't we back off and, I don't know, just like show us. And uh, I'm just gonna show you a bit of the decorations we just did. We just did a few simple things. I know, I feel like her eyes are disappearing. Mm-hmm. So here are some little living room decorations. We have some lanterns. This one sings. <laughs> okay. Okay, with the light on, <laughs> we have some mung wasalwa. It's like a nougat with pistachio. We know, it's not THC. Arabic treat and some mamul covered in white chocolate. Date biscuits, the Holy Quran, and we just put these up like Ramadan decoration. <laughs> yeah, those are like miniature decorations. All right, we also found these twinkly lights, Ramadan lights that we had from last year, if you remember. And Salah was able to fix them because they weren't working. So, yay! <laughs> he fixed them! He's my man! <laughs> I feel like people bring her food too. So. We're out, people! The barn doors are open! Let's go! Yalla! Going out the day before Ramadan started. Oh, this is the day before Ramadan started. Uh oh. Listen, it's 71 degrees out. I've got two chihuahuas. If you're new here, they are part of the show. Without me inviting them in, we get Mr. Tiggs, who's always looking for a C-A-R-R-O-T, and looking out the windows, hoping he can spot another animal. So you'll have to just excuse my chihuahuas. They're part of the show. Arts is probably not a good idea, or you're going to... Uh, somebody in the chat, one of the mods can drop the, um, boutique, the Etsy store boutique link, or you can find it in my about section. I linked it in there. You encounter a lot of traffic jams. This one wasn't too, too bad, but it was still bad enough. <laughs> we were still delayed. Okay, if I remember correctly, you are supposed to stop whatever you're doing and pray for the call of prayer, right? The call to prayer, stop what you're doing and pray. Just asking. Uh, but she did tell us that, or somebody told us that. All right, time to prepare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. That is one big onion. They're just, ha she just cut it in half and threw it in the pot. Prepare iftar. And I'm doing this at around 3 p.m. Even though iftar is at six because I want to make my stock for the rice from scratch. I'm making an Uzi style rice and chicken. So I'm going to start by adding a whole chicken in a doesn't that chicken need a rub on it? Like butter and seasonings? Why is it being thrown in a pot? Why are we boiling it? Why aren't we roasting it in a roaster? Do they, or an oven covered? Oh. In a pot with some water, onion, bay leaf, and a carrot. And I'm gonna let- So we're gonna boil the chicken. Most people boil chicken when they're gonna peel the meat off of it and put it in a soup. Dry, unseasoned, naked, right. Yuck! 
that boil down and simmer until I have a nice stock I can use for the rice. Stock? You mean broth? That's not a stock, that's a broth. What's I'm going this? I'm to top the rice with some toasted almond slivers and I've just dusted them in some cumin and a little bit of sea salt and I'm just- Okay, so you season the almonds, but not the chicken. I'm just gonna toast them in the dry pan until they are nice and toasty. I'm adding to a pot some soaked basmati rice. I soaked it for about 30 minutes with some butter and a little bit of oil and also some turmeric to give it that yellow color. And now I'm adding the broth. Look how nice my chicken broth turned out. That's from the butter. Ugh. It smells amazing. And you know, I usually use just those like bright yellow bouillon cubes. Sorry, my cat's playing with the bag in the background. <laughs> but this looks so much more appetizing in my opinion. <laughs> nope. All right, so here is our first iftar. Ramadan Kareem, everybody. Hold on. Two wings, two legs. Is this what you're asking me? Do I think this is her cooked chicken? Absolutely not. She might've so, been cooking chicken for the cat. That This, no. So to start off to drink, we have water, of course. We have some uh, vintage. Yeah, that is not the same chicken. It's not even the same size. Some chicken noodle soup, which I won't be having. And this is chicken uzi. And it's a flavored rice. You saw how we made it with the chicken stock with some parsley and um, almonds. Hi there, editing Mariam here. I just wanted to add, uh, you're probably wondering how I got the chicken to be kind of if you're over explaining the chicken, that means that uh, the chicken you made, uh, you didn't you didn't even want to eat it. So this, yeah, if you're over explaining this, this ain't that chicken. Well done like this. Well, I did use it in the stock as you saw. So then it kind of like simmered and boiled. Uh -huh. And then I cut it into quarters and seasoned it again, brushed it with a little bit of olive oil and put it into a 400 degree oven uh, for another 20, 25 minutes or so. You boiled the chicken and then you put it in the oven at 400 degrees. 400. Like the, for 25 minutes, does anybody believe it would have come out like this? It wouldn't even be on the bone, ma'am, right? Because you already boiled it. Uh-huh, yeah, now there's, put a poop emoji in the, in the chat if you think she's bullshitting us. Yeah, it'd been <laughs> Ah. <laughs> so, and it turned out like this. No, it didn't. Nice and roasted. No, it didn't. Prove it or it didn't happen. And some roasted chicken. We have some feta cheese sambusa. Some homemade fatouche. You know she didn't make those, so they ordered out. They ordered out. And some yogurt. Julia. I'm gonna have to pray here. <laughs> Are you making sujud? Of course, Salah wasn't eating. That was her plate. But we can all be grateful and say amen that we did not get a mukbang. Thank you. I really love our little apartment. Finally opened the dang windows. Now it looks like a home. You could tie those back though and give them like, an ele like some sort of an elegant style. It's not perfect. <laughs> But for me, it is. No, it's just too many couches. Who wants a couch under the TV? Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you ain't going to have, uh, like, uh, Aerosmith coming over, the whole band, and then they got to fill up all the couches. I don't even think you have enough friends to sit on all those couches. I would take this one out and put, like, some beautiful thing underneath. Right? Like some beautiful decor piece of furniture, but it's too many couches. It's like a hotel lobby. And it's just right for the two of us. Yeah, another yellow panel would break up all that royal blue for sure. I would go with gold instead of this yellow, but I'm not hating the yellow. I'm not hating the yellow, especially if you had tapestry on the walls that kind of brought it all together. I don't know. The blue couches made it look way more horrific 
uh, than the beige couches, but I would get rid of this one. It's not necessary. It's too crowded, right? MashaAllah, I'm so grateful for everything Allah has provided us. Why are you looking at yourself? Get to praying and don't worry about what you look like. <laughs> Never mind. You guys? What? There's a volleyball net here. I. And we have a ball. Not a volleyball. <laughs> You're going to play? Ball, but we have a ball. So maybe we will come play ball one of these days. We have a ball. Is this Harry and Lloyd? Are you guys doing Dumb and Dumber? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get out of here. Oh my God. Maybe, maybe you'll do a lot of things in life. Why didn't you bring the knot of volleyball? And we could have just had some fun with volleyball. I would have loved to have seen that. I would have loved to have seen that. Good God. This is Dumb and Dumber. This is Harry and Lloyd. Harry and Lloyd. This is what happens when you leave the barn doors open, right? And the animals get loose. It's almost like they enter, you know, this world of wonder. Or it's like we're seeing the world through a child's eyes, right? Hey, guys. Wait, what'd she say? <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? Over here. Look over here. Over here. There's a volleyball net here. Uh -huh. And we have a ball. Uh -huh. Not a volleyball, but we have a ball. So maybe... What kind of ball would you play volleyball with? A basketball? Oh, the soccer ball. Right. Maybe we will come play ball one of these days. Maybe. Well, you know what? You can shit in one hand and dream in the other. Which one's going to fill up faster in your world, Chantal? I'm going to guess... A bowling ball. Please, for the love of God, go there and play volleyball with a bowling ball. Thank you very much. A medicine ball. She don't even know what kind of ball they have at home. We have a ball. Not a volleyball. Where's everybody? Oh, that's right. At work. Hey, guys. Very windy day. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Flowey ain't working so well. Look at this shit. Oh, God, this is going slow to the mo. Hold on. O-M-G. This is going slow mo, right? Oh, tap it back. Okay. Oh, my God, this is great. Here we go. Oh, you are the gift. You are the gift that keeps on giving, giving. Here we go. Everybody, watch. Don't buy a flowy and wear it in the wind. That was like when I wore the face guard during COVID. Remember the face shield? And I was carrying the groceries out and the wind caught up under the face shield and da damn near made me do a backflip. Okay, and everybody watched. This is what happens. It's a very windy day, but it's like 20 degrees Celsius right now. It's very sunny though, so... She don't like being outside. It's like, you know what, Sala? Let's say she wasn't 400 plus pounds. You would have had to tie a string to her leg. She would have took off like a, like a kite. It still feels pretty warm, <laughs> but but I'm not melting yet. Look at her struggling to breathe. Just I'm gonna show you guys the beach. Look how the waters, the beautiful colors. <laughs> Harry and Lloyd, who left the barn doors out? The animals have migrated to 
a location. Oh my God, I can't. This is ridiculously funny. Thank you. Thank you. This is what we miss most about you, foodie. Look at her. I mean, you don't even resemble a shape anymore in that outfit. Ugh. Like, for real, for real. My gosh. Wow. The trophy wife life. <laughs> I wonder if that's a, like a shipwreck or a ship in the distance. Shipwreck? Wouldn't you imagine there would be some rescue boats or a towboat around it? You don't get out much, do you? <laughs> She's lived out here for 18 months and it's still a phenomenon. Go investigate. Take a swim out there. Yeah, we got a shipwreck in the sea and a train wreck on shore. What are you going to do? Magic eight ball. Here's the filler content. We're going to do our love story part two. Come on now. Another deserted beach. <laughs> That's because people are at work. They have to work. Oh my gosh. Are you melting? Vampires shouldn't be out during the day. The sunlight will make you disappear or glitter. She still walks like it hurts, don't she? That foot got to be problematic. This is right near us. I can't believe it. This is right near us. I can't believe it. How long she been in solitary confinement? Didn't even realize there was a beach near her. Anyone? Oh my God. Is she? Nah, she ain't across the road. Oops. Siri, shut it. Bye, Siri. That stupid Siri. Uh, excuse me. No, the beach across from where she lives? No. Looks nothing like this. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. 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 There's not even a beach. It's just all rocks. Yeah, where's her big beetle sunglasses that don't even sit on the bridge of her nose? Because her cheeks shove them up to her forehead. Where did those go? You know, it's funny, like seriously, <laughs> some of y'all probably watch Goose Chuck, right? Goose Chuck's another reaction channel, right? And you sit there and go, how can Goose Chuck just be so angry at Chantal's idiocy, <laughs> moronic behavior, right? Where we just go, you know what? <laughs> Nothing surprises us, but anyway. Goose Chuck lives in Canada, right? And Goose Chuck, she doesn't hold anything back. Here's my, here's what I'm picturing, okay? Here's what I'm picturing with Goose Chuck before we finish this ridiculous, uh, whatever she's doing out there in the wild. Anyway, so here's what I picture. I picture Goose Chuck getting up about 4 a.m., getting up with the roosters, right? Before the roosters, working her farm, right? She probably got, I don't know, a bad knee, possibly a hernia, severely calloused fingers, working this farm all by herself, right? Just busting ass all day. Got to worry about animals. Got to worry about their food. You got to check them all over. Make sure none of them are sick. Make sure they're all, you know, everything's clean. The water, the water's filled. All your animals, right? She works like a dog out there. Then she comes in for the first time of the day, starving. And she sits down and says, you know what? What can I watch over here on the YouTubes? She tunes into this, this right here. This difficult life of Chantal. I can see it. I can see it. You know, her fingers are just, you know what I mean? S sort of the bone. She could barely even eat her sandwich. And she's dealing with this. 
I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Uh-huh. Like, what in the little are you complaining about? You have got to be kidding. Oh, and then the misinformation shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's just like, you know what? Enough is enough. Right, right. Exactly. I picture that. And, that, and that's where, you know, Goose Chuck's like, F you. <laughs> Um, I know, you meant, uh, uh, yeah. All right, let's do this. Good God. Oh, look at her. Instagram model. Doesn't it look like she's, like, emerging from a black hole? Right? Because there is absolutely no shape to her anymore. It is a tripod. It is a black hole. Her face is emerging. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> welcome here. I don't know where you were at in that black hole, but welcome. This is called the beach and sand and sun and ocean, sea, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't it look like she's emerging out of a black hole? Whoa! What the movie, what was the name of that movie? It wasn't Dune. It was that other movie with uh, Louis Gossett Jr., it's an old one, by the way. It's a good one. He was a lizard. And she says she's smaller now than when she was at the villa. Oh, if she's saying that, oh, please. No, 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 no. Enemy Mine, thank you. Best movie I ever seen when I was younger. Enemy Mine, here she is. She is in an environment she's not real sure of. You know what I mean? Well, I didn't even know this was here. What is with all this? What is this? You're dragging that hoof, aren't you? Yeah, Dennis Quaid, Louis Gossett Jr. It was so good. If you've never watched it, go watch it. Enemy mine. Enemy, enemy mine, right? Wow. Did you really, is this a fashion show? I gotta be honest with you, Miriam. Um, this flowy thing is not doing you any favors. It is, maybe if it was in colors, so that when it flowed, like the different colors flowed, kind of like the sea, you know what I'm saying? Why aren't you wearing a different color? Why have you not learned that black clothing in the desert it's, it's like a, a, this like a, well, let's just say 180 gallon uh, hefty bag. I don't like it. Oh, that was crafty. A bug, a bug. Wow, the filler content's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Chantel Smelly. Dual, you know what? Serum. <laughs> Said her husband, they, her and her husband met Louis Gossett Jr. at a roundtable discussion. All right. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking, though. Mm, that's called a nope bug. When it's got spider legs and a shield of armor, a dung beetle. <laughs> no, I'm getting itchy. Stop. You're a little alien? No. You're the alien. You're the alien. Da 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 da. I don't want to look at the bug. What's this? She's always sitting down though, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my gosh. But while I'm sitting here, I just wanted to talk to you. Here goes the righteous hand. Here we go. Oh God, what lesson are we gonna learn? Um, um, your passive aggressive hand. Here we go. 
It's a bit about, you know, what the spirit of Ramadan really is, especially for me. So Ramadan... You're going to teach us about Ramadan instead of, I'd rather learn it from an Iman or a, um, I don't know, simply Jazra. Ramadan is not about, you know, how fancy of decorations you have. Oh, shut your mouth. You watch us. Hello, Chantal. Welcome to the No Madness Live. How come you don't come in here anymore and say hi? Oh, that's right. Because the last time you did, people sent me like a shit ton of super chats just to piss you off, like they do FFG. That's why you don't come in here anymore. Yes, ma'am, I didn't say Ramadan was about luxurious um, decorations. I said um, when somebody feels the excitement and the spirituality of Ramadan, um, people like Simply Jazara, um, they want to decorate their whole house. They want to invest in it monetarily and spiritually. Now, if you think going to the Dollar Tree is, um, you know, your big, ta-da, then that's up to you, sweetheart. I just was talking about how beautiful the decorations were that this woman bought because they just, they just made it look like they belonged in their, their, her home. They matched the colors of her home. They looked like they just belonged there all year. Ha! Ha, 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 ha. did that hurt your fifis? Put down your hand, too. Or how fancy of dress you have. Well, you went out and bought a new flowy, didn't you? Obviously, it does matter. You are comparing yourself to simply just Rhea. Let's go look at her again. Simply just Rhea bought a new dress for Ramadan. Oh, my gosh. We love her. We love her. Yes. She decorates. She doesn't, listen, listen, Linda. She didn't drop, she didn't drop a, um, oh, I think it's on her shorts. Okay, let's go to her shorts. Dink, dink. I'm gonna mute it because it's probably like copyright. But she didn't like drop to her knees in front of a gaming chair. She decorated her prayer corner. Look. Doesn't that make it more beautiful? Look it. Oh, her prayer corner, Chantal. You dropped a rug at the bottom of your gaming chair. Shame on you. We like it the way simply just, just Sarah does it. She even made an egg dish. It was similar to just Sarah's. Why doesn't she wear her hijab like that lady? Because she thinks she's hiding her chins and um, with the, and then she can eat more. Why do you think she just bought a big flowy? So she can grow into it. I'm guessing. I don't know what's next after that. You're gonna have to go on barnumbailey.com. She's an absolute triangle. Oh yeah, what else was she gonna tell us? Hold on. Decorations you have or how fancy <coughs> dress you have. Um, or how big of meals you prepare. It's actually just meant to be a time of spiritual growth. Of growing. Well, there's many facets to it. Foodie. And we don't want to hear this from you. Why isn't your man telling us what it is? Why isn't an Iman telling us? But there's many facets to it. Like preparing and you're excited and... I'm going to make a beautiful prayer corner with a mirror. I'm going to make I'm going to make these amazing dishes for people, family, right? They're 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 traditional. Uh, just cuz you can't afford it or you're really not caring and we're comparing. We noticed the comparing's getting to her. Yes. I told you it would. Da ra ta ta ra ta ta ra ra ta 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 ta. You don't want to do that stuff. Come on now. Growing closer to a lot. <coughs> and it's a time for reflection, a time for fasting, a time for appreciation. And it's a time to be... Then how come last year you gained weight during Ramadan? Who gains weight during Ramadan? I, I asked that last year. How did you possibly gain weight during Ramadan? It's supposed to be about sacrifice and, and uh, letting go and... Praying to do better. 
Uh, ma'am, you're not doing better is showing. You might want to tuck that shit in. <laughs> or let it flow. <laughs> be modest in everything, in every way. And in fooding? In, in eating? Modest in every way. So you made this video the day before you ate the ranch sauce pizza that sent you to the crapper twice and the foot-long sub with all the sauces dripping down your face in a very non-modest way. You made this video that day? The same day you ate that stuff? Don't you preach to me and put your... Put your whatever you want to call it, righteous hand down. You made my Brussels sprouts. They are awesome, are they not? I have, listen, if y'all aren't going over to my playlist and making any of my food under the food list, I don't even know you anymore. All of it's amazing. <laughs> Just kidding. Just yourself to a lot, doing a lot of praying, praying those extra prayers and just focusing on prayer and your relationship with Allah. That's all that. Okay, so why are you saying you and your? Why aren't you referring to yourself personally? Why are you saying you and your? You're supposed to do this. You, your, you, your. Why aren't you saying I? You see what I'm saying? You see how that works? She's going to tell everyone else what they're supposed to be doing. And she's going to do the complete opposite. Mm-hmm. She prays a lot, guys. Mm-hmm. All that Ramadan really should be about. Um, you know, I know we have like a few decorations, but we didn't go all out. We just kind of, again, I just, we just want to focus on basically. Oh, uh, it's simply bothering you. It's just that we're bothering you because, oh, this is great. My eyes can't stop rolling with her. Right on, Alpha Beta the Empire. Pray more. Pray. Right, pray once. We call that a mid-bite poop. <laughs> Someone ordered this woman a pizza. It ain't even Ramadan when she made this video, right? She's let, she's after the rewards for extra prayer, right? What's the reward on pizza? Stop. She does look like Danny DeVito when he played the penguin. True that. With what moral she lectures us, she talks about love and tomorrow she's talking poop about everyone. Absolutely. If you don't think there isn't going to be a, a rant or a rage or um, a passive aggressive rant during this process, you're crazy. She did it last year. She was so hangry and irritated. Um, she got to do this, you know, all the way till uh, April 9th, like a month. So at some point in there, she's going to get hangry and Salah's not going to bring her anything because he's going to be celebrating with his family and his friends and celebrating and celebrating, and she's not get what, gonna get what she wants, uh, and you're gonna see her go live, and you know it's gonna be the same shit. BBJ, FFG, Nodder, Nodder. Right. Basically, what the focus of the spirit of Ramadan really is, and that's really just your relationship with Allah. Another thing that's really important with Ramadan is the time for giving and charity. See the hand? Do you watch the righteous hand? She's preaching to a palm tree. Um, so that's another thing that's very, very important during this time. So, all right, guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. There will be more to come. And I really appreciate you watching. So thank you so much. And Ramadan Kareem to all my brothers and sisters. And oh, they have did. Listen, those people have. You made a spectacle of yourself in the Muslim community um, with a sister. You back bit her. You, try, uh, you almost got her channel taken down. I'm pretty sure they don't want to hear shit out of you. You know what? They just don't. They don't want you telling them what they're supposed to do. You, you're, you, you're, you're supposed to do this. You're, you, 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 right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. If there was an ancient God of food, I'm pretty sure she would have stayed with that religion. I can't with her. I just can't with her. I mean, why would, uh, listen, <laughs> honestly, mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, that's one of my videos is the, um, crack corn, which is so good. You will never eat corn on the cob any other way.
Just go watch it on my food list. Listen to Mr. Tiggs in the kitchen. He's all about, he, I, you know, I call him foodie beauty sometimes, or foodie. Uh, Wilbur, I call him Wilbur sometimes, because he thinks he can get me to get him a carrot. But see, I'm almost done with this live stream, so he loses. We're getting ready to go take a nice walk. I was out in the shopping district doing stuff, and then when I seen she put up a new video, I said, Oh my gosh, we're finally getting Ramadan. Okay, not yet. Not yet. We got to wait for it. She's going to make more vlogs. And maybe they'll be about preparedness and um, what she does in a day. You know, every day, Miriam. We know every day she don't go outside. So this is like, oh my God, Miriam went outside. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion, soon it will be the only abaya that she'll be able to fit into. We might be there. We have not seen one of those lumberjack plaid shirts, have we? No. The last time we seen one, it was the denim. And that's not even one of the plaid shirts. The pink and the blue are the plaid shirts. We haven't seen those. Last time we seen one, it was busting at the seams. Or the buttons. It was busting at the buttons. So that, bye. Who buys bigger clothes? The goal is to buy smaller clothes or the goal to fit into your clothes that just got too tight. This is what happens, ladies. Do not go out there and keep raising the size you're in. You're not fooling anyone. You're not fooling anyone. The bigger the clothes, the bigger you look. I don't care if they're black, colored. No, no. I like the vlogs way better than the live streams, yes. She's got to be out by the beginning of April, I think. Some people say April 4th. Some say April 12th. I do believe she's leaving. I believe she's going to go home. It could be before Ramadan's over. It could be payday. Payday's what? Today's 12th. 10 days. It could be, you know, in two weeks she's leaving. Right? I mean, her 40th birthday's coming up. You think she's going to sit in the condo by herself? My God, every video, every birthday she's ever had is her birthday month. Right? You think the big 4-0, she's going to sit in there and be ignored? Oh, she's going home. It's a, it's a 28th. She's going home by her birthday. Bet me. <laughs> go home. Go home. Go home. Anyway, guys, I got to get these boys out for a walk. It's a beautiful day. 71 degrees. They need to go pee on every blade of grass. It's what they look forward to. And get his mind off a carrot. She has to dress for her body tag. But it's hard when you have the shape of a... Right. Right. It is hard. Flowey is not it. No. No. Foof, foof. Right? Foof, foof. Foof, foof. Foof, foof. I she'll, bet she'll be in the court by the 28th. Absolutely. Yep. She going home for that celebration. THC. Right? Shot. That's <laughs> the big 4-0, right? She'll be wearing westernized clothes, you know? Um, you know, Shmi will take her shopping. Come on, cutie. I can't do it. I cannot do the Shmi imitation. I can't do it. Leave it to FFG. She can do it. I can't. The whole Fargo thing is just hysterical. She's going to be taking her to the Maurice's, right? Or to the Pennington's. And, and getting cutie, uh, you know, a 40-year-old's outfit. Flowers and all, probably. Roses. I guess I'm roses. You know, maybe they're going to go gamble a little. She's in the Western world. She can do whatever she wants. Remember. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tiggs can come teach Salah how to bark properly. Right, it's rah. It ain't foo-foof, foo-foof. It ain't that. Dogs don't foo-foof. I think she, there it is. I think she should sue FFG for the content. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for being here. I love y'all. Thanks for the laughs. Um, it's my favorite soap opera. And we'll be back tomorrow uh, unless anything exciting happens tonight. We're here for it, always. All right, guys, bye. Love you. Love, love, love you. All above.